someone just commented on my last video I put up about making the paste for the animals to eat through the winter and substitute their feet. Well, turns out there's a pellet maker. It's a hand crank and there's also expensive electric ones, but there's a hand crank type that's 80 bucks and it works like a meat grinder and it just cuts pellets as you put in a dough-like paste of whatever it is you're making your pellets out of. That is awesome. I'm going to get that and then I'm also going to experiment with the paste idea and thinking I could even grind bugs up, put them in there too, add the fatties, the proteins, and all those nutrients from the insects for the chicken's feet. Down here is my starts. These are the brassicas, tomatoes, mainly this asparagus and celeries and cannabis throughout here as well. And peppers, but the peppers out in the living room, grow room, I'm not going to put those out yet in a couple more weeks until I harden those off because they need to wait till it's warmer outside to get them in the ground. The peppers want it when it's warm. This is uh, everything looking pretty sweet. You know, um, they get thicker. They get thicker and greener, darker when they get acclimated to the natural light. See, if you have a greenhouse, you just start your stuff outside. You don't have to do the hardening off process. It's when you start them indoors under grow lights that you have to go through this 10 to 14 day introduction to the sun because the lighting is different. And if there's bad weather, skip a day, but make up for it the next day. With the hardening off process, you want to start them maybe around five hours of light the first day. And then each day that goes by, add another hour, increase the amount of time you leave them out to get used to the sun. And remember to bring them in every night. That's a big part of the idea of this process is that the nights are still cool, they still can get pretty cold, you never know if you have a freak frost, you could get, your plants could damage still at night. So you don't want to leave them out, introduce them to the light. I figure I'm going to make pelleted feeds for the rabbits and a different mix for the birds. So the rabbits will get just plant paste made into pellets with the pellet maker and then the chicken ducks will get it with added bugs which I'm thinking I'll boil them the bugs I'll get the water boiling and then put them in there it'll be instant and then they will be I'll be able to use that water that hot water to also soften up the leaves the plant matter that I use for this paste mix as well and that's uh, perfect I'm thinking that'll be perfect my apple trees that I'm also hardening off right now I'm gonna go ahead and order that pellet maker tonight there's a few more even around here somewhere